Hey guys, Julie Salon, how are you? Intuitive healer for your life and business. I'm thrilled that you're here. Welcome to the family. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for listening to my videos, for liking, subscribing, sharing. I love you all so much. I appreciate you. And for every comment you leave, I always respond. So thank you for that. Um, today, we are talking about life path number three. On this channel, we don't talk about zodiacs because that's what everyone else does. And I'm a little different. We do uh, life path numbers. And if you don't know what your life path number is, I will leave a link uh, for a video on how to find it. But you basically just take your birthday, the month, the day, and the year. You add up all those numbers. For example, if I was October, it's the 10th month out of 12. So one plus zero is one. I was born on the 25th day. So two plus five is seven. Then if you take your year, just say 1983, you add one plus nine plus eight plus three and whatever that gives you. And then you add those three numbers and then that number you bring down to the lowest number, right? So your life path number three. Um, just a couple of quickies before I be begin. Um, I do have donations I made through PayPal. So if you want to give to the channel, that'd be much appreciated. That link is below. If you need readings for either yourself or your animal, because I am also an animal communicator, I can talk to animals, whether they're here or they've passed on. Same thing with people. Um, or, but mostly my readings are energy readings for you to heal yourself. The links are below. And I also have a brand new course. I'm super excited about it. It starts a week from tomorrow. So that's going to be April 12th. And it's a four week course with you and I separately doing a lot of work. And you're going to find out what your gifts are, how to use two of your gifts, and then bring you into alignment and then figure out what your soul's purpose is on earth. So if you're struggling with what your gifts are or how to use your gifts because they need a manual and there's no manuals out there, um, or you need to figure out what your life purpose is or all the above, that's what I'm here for. The link will be below. Super excited about that. And there are three or four bonuses as well. So <clears throat> this is a general reading. Okay. I am a channeler. I channel through God, spirit, the universe, whatever you want to call it. Um, there is no judgment here. I call him God or spirit, whatever works for you is fine. And I will do a channeled message, um, uh, from him spirit. I also am not a tarot card reader, but I do use animal cards because the animals do come to us and allow us so graciously to use some of their attributes that you need right now in your life to make your life better. So I will use those. And then I also have some through the planets. I've got uh, Egyptian astrology, uh, the fixed signs and um, some of the, a couple of planets. So I'm super excited about this. So let's do this. So you are life path number three. Okay. And just as a refresher, um, you are the communicators. Okay. You're very good at speaking your mind. You love people. You are very creative. You're an artist. Usually you're very intellectual. Um, you have your sole purpose is to develop creative self-expression and inspire all. And you have a very quick mind. Um, you cannot handle the nine to five job so much only because you like to do your own thing and you're so creative. You take things very seriously. Um, you are perfectionist at heart. Okay. And um, you're very witty and intelligent. Your relationships are not number one. Usually work is Okay. Um, and just on the shadow side, you know, your shadow lies, your desire to be perfect. So be careful, uh, how you show that to others or push that onto other people. I know cause I'm a perfectionist. And I'm trying to get out of that. Um, it's not good to be perfectionist because nobody's perfect. Right. So that's what you are. Number three. So I always like to start off with a reading from spirit. And this is what I was given for you. And it says, Please remember this key thought. Those who don't see your value and worth, those who are negatively uh, affected, they're negative, dangerous, or aggressive, need not be in your life. To stay in calm waters when the apple cart is upset, striving for stillness, that is where your strength is. And this whole purpose of allowing me to speak to you. So what I was getting from this is that, you know, you've got a quick mind, you're very witty, you're very intelligent. You know, I think sometimes you are so busy doing things that you don't always know that there are people within your realm that may not be good people for you. They may be false people. And 
you don't need anybody who's negative or derogatory or aggressive within your sphere of influence, if possible. Now, I know sometimes at work, we all have to work with people that are not that amazing, but whenever you can try to weed those people out because it's imperative for your growth that you're surrounded by people that care about you or also that can inspire you and pull you up to where they are, right? That's the way that we really learn. Okay, so without further ado, what I'm going to do is I'm going to call, I've already called in my team. As I said before in the last video, if you don't know what your team is and a team, I mean, uh, I call in the five archangels as well as my animal friends and you can have and my ancestors and you can have all of them right here around you at your fingertips. But if you don't call them in and ask them to be with you and help you, they can't do anything for you. They are there to give you wisdom, love, guidance, patience. They've been around for many lifetimes and they're here to help you. You're their charge, but you must raise your hand and say, I need some help. So what I do is I've already called in the archangels and I would like to take a deep breath in. As you do so, I'd like you to focus on your heart and think of the best intention that you'd have. This is a collective channeled reading. If it resonates with you, great. If it doesn't, don't try to make it fit. Hopefully the next one will. But let's take a deep breath in and focus on our hearts, right? Take a deep breath in. Let it out. Take another deep breath in, focusing on the positive intention and the message you'd like to receive. Let it out. And I would ask all the ancestors to come forward to the people that are listening right now, if they found my video, no matter when they found it, this is so important. And what would you like to say, ancestor, to these people? Okay, they are showing me, this is interesting. They are showing me as though you owned a shop and you're a solopreneur and you have many wonderful things in your shop. Because you're a perfectionist, you do everything yourself. So you open the store, you help people, you ring them out, you do your own books, you do your own social media, do everything yourself. You have the ability to let others help you. You have the ability and the funds to bring somebody else to help you with social media or to help you open and close so you go do other things and not be at the store all day long, seven days a week. But you feel as though it's, it's not about the money. It's that you don't trust anybody to do it the way you would do it. You were brought up thinking the only way to do this, the best way is if I do it. And I'm a perfectionist. I like how things are done my way. And there's nothing wrong with that. But here's the other part of this. The flip side of this is that you are missing out on giving yourself extra time to grow your business. Because if somebody else took over the social media or the opening and closing of the store or whatever it is, you would have more time to do you recharge your batteries, maybe develop relationships with other people to grow your store. The perfection tendency they're really showing me is damaging for you because there is no perfection. Just to give you an idea, if you want, if you're chasing an ideal weight or an ideal body fat percentage, you may only have that for one day and then the next day you're out of it again. Perfection is in your mind. It's not real. I always thought that perfection was real until my horse, the person that trains me said, you know, like you want a perfect ride. There's no such thing as a perfect ride. It's all subjective. It's just like beauty. It's subjective. I'm like getting close because I'm looking right at you because this is a big deal and I don't want to gloss over it. First of all, you're perfect the way you are. Second of all, there is no perfection. There's the way you do things and how you can improve. <clears throat> They're asking me to ask you to be gentle with yourself, to give yourself grace. You're so hard on yourself. 
You treat yourself worse than you treat anybody else on the planet. Nobody can ever say anything to you in a negative tone the way you can talk to yourself negatively. You're your own worst enemy in this regard. So they're saying, dearest, please, please start talking to yourself in a nice way. Start giving yourself grace. Start telling yourself you're like yourself. You love yourself. That may seem very far from where you are right now. And I get it because I was that person. I hated everything about myself. And I thought my gifts were a curse. Feeling other people's pain and being this empathic is, can be very hard. People don't understand you. Even in this day and age, people don't understand that I speak to animals and you may have a gift that people don't understand as well, but that does not mean that you should not shine your light. You came to this earth, you're a divine being and a divine spark of God, of spirit, of the almighty, of the infinite, of creation, of your higher self. Living here on the third dimension in this body, in this time. You signed up for this, whether you, whether you know that or not, your soul signed up for this. So here's the thing. You're going to have lessons, not failures, lessons, and it's okay. That's the way it's supposed to be. Your soul came here to learn. But you can't learn if you think you're perfect. And if you do think you're perfect and you're learning a hard lesson, you're going to get really defeated by it. So try to stay a little more disconnected and don't strive for perfection and give yourself and people grace. Okay, so I got a bunch of spirit cards for you. Now the spirit, spirit cards are animal cards and the animals show up because they want to gift you the attributes that they have. This is your challenge. This is what you're not seeing, okay? This is what they can help you with. Remember, I don't look at these. I just, they come out, they fall on the ground. I pick them up. <laughs> Whatever I just channel for you, I don't know what I'm gonna channel until I sit down in front of you. But always, the cards are always right on time. And the first one you got was grasshopper spirit. And it shows this cute grasshopper. He's really green. If you're listening to audio, he's got a crown on his head. And it says, take a leap of faith. Take a leap of faith to not be perfect. Take a leap of faith to ask for help. Whether it be your team, your archangels, the other animals, whether it be a best friend, whether it be a parent, take a leap of faith and surrender to perfectionism and surrender that I need some help in this area. And you then got Buffalo spirit, the abundant universe will provide. So see, this is, this still goes back to perfectionism for me because you think if you let other people do the job that they won't be able to do it as well as you, which could be true in the beginning, but you can train them to be just as good as you. But what Buffalo Spirit is saying is the abundant universe will provide, have faith, right? Just what the grasshopper spirit is, have faith that the universe will provide for you and help you because it will. You then got beautiful hummingbird spirit. This is such a beautiful card, three plus four, seven. And it says, be here now. You know, as a communicator and doing what you do and working like you work and careers number one for you, most of you, you don't take time for yourself. You don't take to recharge your batteries. A very dear friend of mine and a colleague taught me that, you know, each of your cups needs to be full, you know, your physical cup, your physical body, spiritually, you know, energetically, um, psychically, and all of the cups, if they're full leads to abundance, joy, happiness, prosperity. But if any one of those cups is empty or all of them are empty or low, you can't give to someone. You can only give to someone with as much as is in your cup. So if my cup is empty, I can't give anything to you, right? It's like having $0 in your wallet. Hummingbird is saying, be here now and realize what you do have because you have a lot more than you think you do. I just think you haven't taken stock. 
And the last one is otter spirit. Oh, this is so cute. It's like two little otters in the water. Oh my gosh. And they form a heart. You can't see it if you're on audio, but there's two little otters. They're like together hugging each other and they form a heart. And it says, you are never alone. A lot of you think that you are all by yourself in this world. And you're the type of people that can have a bunch of people around you, but you still feel alone. I'm that person too. But you are never alone. Spirit's always with you. Your ancestors are always with you. Your animals are always with you. Tap into that. Tap into it. It's important because every day that you're disconnected from these guys, your, your team, your power pack, God, spirit, the universe, you are disconnected from power and your source of all good things, inspiration, creativity, love. All right. So from uh, the Egyptian astrology, we got Geb, G-E-B. And it says, this is the earth God, but it shows up as a female. Caring, honesty, shy, and faithful planet is earth. Caring, honesty, shy, and faithful. You can be a very caring being and still be shy. What they're saying, I think, in the honesty is to be honest with yourself and really understand that you have a lot to give. Don't cut yourself short, they're saying. You always short, short yourself. Like if I give you a compliment, you're like, yeah, whatever. It's like, no, you're amazing. You've got a lot to give. And then the other one was Horus. And Horus is the sky god. It says optimistic, charming, and determined. This is you. Optimistic, charming, and very determined. But take time for yourself to recharge your batteries. Because again, when your batteries are recharged, you can help more people. Or... The astrology plants, you got Neptune, which is kind of the blue planet here. It's got vision, expression, compassion, openness to spiritual connection. What did I say? I can't make this up. Openness to spiritual connection. There are a lot of you, for whatever reason, that are just ignoring the spiritual connection that's possible in your life, whether it be through something bigger than you or archangels or whatever it is. If you ignore that, you're disconnected from power. If you're disconnected from power, it's like a tree without the sun or the water, they die. So your vision, your expression, and your compassion are huge. But your openness to spiritual connection is the biggest of all that you need to start paying attention to. I guarantee your life will start changing once you do this. For the moon healing, you got two got the buck moon. This shows a huge buck with big, big antlers holding in his antlers, a yellow moon. Very cool. Buck moon says, look into the, into the root cause. Uh, they're telling me and showing me that perfectionism actually comes from a wound of not being good enough and not feeling good enough. And this could be self-conscious, subconscious, not conscious. I know I've struggled with this quite a lot through my whole entire life. And if you can get to the root of it, you can get rid of it. But not feeling as if you're enough, just the way you are, is a terrible way to go through life. I mean, look at the buck here. It's a beautiful buck. These animals don't think that they're not enough. It doesn't even occur to them. We don't come that way. You know, we don't, we're not born that way. These are learned experiences. So start recognizing some of the patterns that are holding you back and not serving you. The other one else is a sturgeon moon. And it says, reflect upon your past. Wow, two in the past. Look into the root cause and reflect upon your past. So what was told to you that you took as gospel, but is no longer serving you? It's an old thought. It's somebody said something to you, you took it on as to be true when it's not, and you've carried it all these years. Like the, like the teacher that told me I was stupid when I was five, you'll never be able to do what you want to do because your dreams are nuts. I took that on my entire life. 
as gospel and always felt not worthy, even though I showed a confident facade. And I've just begun to work on that. Reflect upon your past, all the good that you have within you, all the good things you've done and can do. And then for the, the um, fixed stars, I've got Pallades, all my Palladian people, woohoo, seven sisters. It says emotionally and spiritually enhanced. You are emotionally and spiritually, I'm sorry, evolved because you are, you're a leader. It says it right there, number three, leaders, love people, intelligent, career-driven, talent with words, communicative, communicator, very good at speaking, love people. Not all, not all of us love people like you guys do. Emotionally and spiritually evolved, that's what you are. But think that way. You've got to think that way and believe that about yourself because you are. The other one is Arrakis. Garnet star, Ooh, who knew? And it shows actually a dragonfly. Guys, right now we have so many dragonflies they are everywhere. Everybody's been commenting on it. Um, open doors to the new dimension of consciousness, resolve conflict. Yeah, open the doors to the new dimension of what you can achieve by seeing yourself differently in a different perspective in a different light. And then the last one is Gaina on the raven's wing. Connect to nature, spread your wings, release gentle and harmonious energy, harmonic energy. When you work with the divine, when you work with spirit, when you work with your angels, harmony ensues. Spread your wings, connect to nature, ground yourself. If you're near the beach, go to the beach. If you can just take your socks off and be on the, you know, on the, on the um, sand or be on grass, do it. Because it's funny to say this, it's counterintuitive, but when you connect and get grounded, you can fly. I love that. So guys, I hope this helped you. I'm just going to write this down. When you get grounded, you fly. I hope this helped you. I love you all. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you like the channel messages and please do uh, like, subscribe, hit the button so you know when I upload and do look at the courses below, the course below, as well as um, the donation tab. And if you need a reading uh, for yourself, for a friend, for your animal, everything's down below and I will look for you next time. All right, guys, thank you so much. And leave me a comment because I respond to all of them. Thanks so much. Take care.